Welcome back to Pathologic. Now we start day two. Oh shit, we need to maybe eat before we start day two. As far as I guess everyone else would probably be concerned. Let's just remove the stack. That's probably the best. We're doing relatively okay. Let's see, three hours, four hours sleep? Five, six hours sleep. This is like my night shifts, I swear to God. Right. Four hours sleep is clearly enough for a human being to function on. Absolutely. No shot of a doubt. Okay. Four hours will do. Day two begins. Right, I should probably maybe put one of these scalpels away, because... Let's put this this one away, because I'm not using it. Uh, the boss has gone to bed. Let's perhaps save the game, try and figure out what we're doing next. Bar the Scarface buys organs for, for cash, I think, or possibly for possibly for herbs. I could just put that organ in my backpack and trade it later, but I think it's probably easier just to leave it here and come back for it later. At least that keeps my inventory space as open as it possibly can. It's still quite early on in the morning. So that gives us a little bit of time to mess around. Corpse is still there. Oh shit, I'm hated here. Uh, I, maybe I need to improve my reputation here. Perhaps was uh, unwise to autopsy a body quite so bluntly and openly. Right. Let's perhaps go to a place where I'm a bit more unwelcome. Rather than actually outright hated, and see if we can do anything to perhaps improve our reputation. Being unwelcome somewhere is not the end of the world. But it does certainly make our lives harder. Hello. Carrion. Foul. Not really what we want to see around this place. But they do smell the scent of death. So here we stand. We're unwelcoming the moor. You might trade. Trust too low to trade. That's a problem. Trading is really the only lifeblood that we have. The only way that we're going to survive, so... Um, losing that was actually a really bad thing. Uh... The first of many mistakes, I am sure. Wow. There's always time to undo some of these mistakes. Six AM. None of them are gonna trade with me, they don't like me here. Though we are getting other available characters around, like the young woman, who will have different items to trade. So that's that's something. 
Oops, sorry. Yep. my reputation every touch. Better than nothing, eh? It really wasn't better than nothing. Ooh, okay. Perhaps this was a bad idea. <sighs> Carrying too much junk. But I do want to uh, item. How do I... Can I eat something to get rid of it? No. No, I... Oh, well. Hmm. Well. No more autopsying, at least. Still unwelcome. That didn't really improve my reputation very much. Something I've noticed that you can loot people who have surrendered. Oh, wait, that might help. No more empty bottles, now I can go back. But it will mean that I will drop an empty bottle as soon as I uh, pick up this pick up anything else. Right. Okay. I suppose it isn't just, uh, it is rather taboo to not only kill someone, but to harvest their organs. I'll, I'd rather not uh, harvest any others. Let's just be careful around here, I don't want to get hunted again. What? Hmm. Well, I can drop that now. So it's a bit too soon to uh, start harvesting organs. Oh well. Did my best. Don't know my best was uh, perhaps not not amazing. Oh well. Probably isn't a good idea to keep wandering around the district where I'm hated. Not really sure what else to do though. No, he's just gonna chase me. Yeah, maybe it wasn't the best of ideas to trash my reputation so quickly. Uh, not really sure how best to improve it here, to be honest. We'll improve our reputation everywhere else eventually.
crows are flying above where the dead were yesterday. Well, I'm hated anyway. Except at the the dead item shop. Okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll go back into Vlad's house and we'll just drop off some items because we can use that as a little mini storage area for now. Not ideal, but it's something. Okay. What can I put down here? The cowbell. What do I want to put away? I actually kind of want to keep a lot of this stuff because I want it to trade. I just wish I had bigger pockets. Uh, we're not going to be using the schmouders anytime soon. I want to keep them because they can cure the plague. Oh, here we go. Day two begins. Son's fate is to avenge his father's death, but first I must see the body. Father's funeral starts at dawn, and I doubt it will take all day. Right. Right. Father's funeral it is. I don't think there's very much else that we can do of use here. So perhaps I should store something here. Not really sure what to put down though. Chisels, grindstones. Uh, there's not really a lot else. Okay, I have to just run straight down. We can dodge this gentleman here. No, no, we didn't. We didn't dodge him. Well, kid, will you trade with me? What's wrong with her? We didn't do anything, we swear. We saw her crying and asked what happened, but she just bawled even more. <laughs> girls. I think there's a girl standing beside them that I didn't quite notice there. Maybe she's hungry? I guess. She must be hungry. Why else should she be crying? Maybe she's lost. I guess. She must be lost. Maybe we should take her to the station? Got her on a train just somewhere? Trains aren't running now, but we should probably see if she lives around here. Yeah, you do that. Ah, f no good there. Oh, come on. Stop asking to put my hands up. You don't... You don't know me. I'm running away. My god. How much more are you going to follow me? I can't kill him, though, because... If I do, he'll, um... It'll just generate more hatred. Right, well, let's try and restore our reputation at least. Mm, still nowhere near enough money for the revolver that's down there, but we'll see what we can do. Sorry about the occasional stutter. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It, I think it's the fact that I'm running the game plus the recording equipment. Tends to happen when we load new areas. 
My computer specs were very good for a few years ago, but probably are not as amazing now. Alas. How are you all doing, by the way? I feel it's probably been a long time since we've seen each other last. You're always welcome here. I wonder what that could mean. The cemetery where the dead lay. But there's more than just the dead. The fingers of the men who helped build many of the great wonders and destructive parts of the town. Тебя легкая рука, так? И тяжелое сердце, так? You know why the Нет. earth won't take him? Надо наоборот. Who? Your father. Earth expels him like a foreign body. You see that girl, Grace, the caretaker? She's getting desperate. I think she'd take his place in the grave if she could. Do you even understand what you're rambling about, you awful creature? Some people are weavers. They make connections. Others are cutters. They rip things apart. Your father, he was a cutter. You Burraks are permitted to, aren't you? You're important among the locals, privileged. As a faithful surgeon, he would cut apart a living, breathing town, or even tear it to shreds with his hands alone. A violent man. How do you even know? You've only been here for a few days. But I do. Because I know people, and I know how to listen to them. I know how to connect. But your father was a cutter. He demolished the whole mycelium. Mycelium? What does that have to do with anything? A human mycelium. The mycelium of the town. He believed it was all ingrown wrong. That's just like you surgeons. If a fracture fuse is wrong, you just break it again and sever the tissue too. Who does that? They do it all differently. So you're no surgeon then? I'm not. I don't work with bones and meat. My expertise has to do with more delicate things. Souls. Feelings. You wouldn't understand. Right. How would I? They say that the Earth won't accept Father, literally, that it rejects his body as they bury it. Они что, не доверяют мне? Как будто я не знаю, что делать. Sad pup there was laying, and a kid in dismay, just a couple of pitiless creatures. I, I don't remember the rest, do you? Yeah, you're singing it wrong. It's a couple of pitiful creatures, not pitiless. I'm singing it right. Why are you so sad? so cruel that people can't rest in peace, even after death. Whose sins are we punished for? Why does the soil push out, old Burach? What? They tried to bury him twice already, but the earth won't take him. It pushes the body upwards. It means he's got something left undone in the world. That was a debt. He was a man of obligation. Pushes upwards? What the hell does that mean? He's buried deep, but when your people returned with the seeds and the milk of the brother right, they saw his body lying in the open again. The earth pushed him out. Father said a similar thing happened before when they buried Chief Urehen. But he was a really bad person. Not like old Burak at all. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How is this possible? I don't know. It's just he carried too heavy a burden. He failed to do something important because his life was cut short. Your people say that if the ground doesn't take him, they'll burn him as the old right demands, but that's a horrible. Cremation isn't a crime. If things are the way you say, at least it's better than that outrage. It is a crime. The dead mustn't be burned. Earth doesn't destroy. It preserves. It dissolves them and saves them for future harvests. The earth is alive here. If they burn your people, how will they speak? How will they bloom? How will they return? Do you have any idea what you're talking about? If one mustn't burn the dead, but digging is also frowned upon, then what options do we have? Those who would gather for my father's wake. What do they know of him? What do they know of the dead? Связывай связи. Связывай все, что разорвал твой отец. И правильно сделал, что разорвал. We shall speak later. We have much to talk about. Not here. Greetings, Akhir. How fares your kind? Who might you be? I'm Minot. 
Your Katang, your people are over there burying your father. What about you? I have paid my respects already. I came here to watch you, to see what you do. I wait for your word, Emshin, and I shall give you mine. Why can't they bury him? They will tell you, and you will reply. I watch. Okay, then watch. Emshin, brave man, strong is his spirit. How far is your kind, Emshin? Bitte Karan, for he has come to pay his last respects for his father. We have, too. By Allah, thank you. Why is my father still unburied? Bitte Karan, Upshe is at the threshold. The loss is great. I need to speak to say the words correct and serve the right. I've come to pay last respects to my father. Why do I see this sight? Kodo Kara, Barak Hasega carried a great burden, owed a great debt. Who is to take his duty upon himself? Bikara, it is not that easy. What does he owe? He told us not, Emshin. He took it to the grave. You ask the wrong people. Too late, Emshin, now. The earth awaits. Say now, do you accept his duty as your own? Wait, I want to look at the body first. Many will soon leave. Hurry, Emshin. Wait here. The chest has been punctured. Massive wound. Couldn't have been a knife. Some massive cone-shaped object. A horn or a claw, maybe. Should pull away fab the fabric covering the body now. Skin dry to the touch. Suspicious. Unusual degree of cirrhosis. He wasn't that old. Should continue my examination. Soil under the fingernails. Unlike him. He always kept his hands clean. Three oddities, then. The murdered weapon, the dry skin, and the condition of his hands. Wait here for you, yes. Say now, do you accept what he owes? Before the eyes of the kin and the earth, this is what I have to say. I, his son, accept his duty as my own. The sky is my witness. I bow for you, Emshin, the first blood is yours. Bihara, Emshin, is a man. A brave man. Here stands Sahaba, Sahaba, Uspte. You have accepted his duty. Now come into the inheritance. Sahaba will show you the way. Bayartaikin. Thank you. By Allah. We've done what needed to be done. There was no choice. So his body is buried. What does my father's duty entail? You are a brave man, Emshin, a true son to your father. I rejoice as I watch you. The Khatang, the kin, shed tears of pride and delight as they watch you. I'm afraid. We shall bear your burden together, Emshin. Your father helped me. I helped him. I shall help you too. In you, I see him. Don't. Oh, but I always act first and think later, I can't. I've got the scars to prove it. Your father was a wise man, but he wasted not his time on doubting. He acted instead of brooding. That's why his works were great and many. He who lives cautiously, pacing circles in his own head, spares himself, but wastes those he loves, those who love him. They did the right thing, is what my heart tells me. Follow me, Hemshin. You are now to come into your legacy. Okay. Star, but we have not the time to grieve. Here's what matters. You are now to take your father's legacy. Take it, mind not come into it. What do you mean we have not the time? We've got all the time in the world. You have ten days. Trust me, I foresee ten. Bihara, great troubles. Akayud are upon us. Death already nests in four houses. Soon it will crawl upon the town, decimated, then halve it. 
The wise say the sky is falling. Why will you hide when it pins you down? What kind of coyote? I know not, be it war, rebellion, plague, or simple misfortune. Who cares? You have greater things to worry about now. Like what? Here, I'm giving you his, with her, his warm vessel. He gave it to me on the eve of his last holiday. That's to presage the evil that would befall him. You're right, he must have. That's why he summoned me to the town. I'm giving you his oath car. It's yours now. How's are the things inside? Now the money. It's a light purse, isn't it? Your father didn't care much for money. Okay, you said I would take my legacy but not come into it. What did you mean by that? To take someone's obligations, word is not enough. To come into a legacy, taking the things is not enough. Your father's bequeathal is more than merely material. What else then? His fate, his place, in the kin, in our hearts, and in our follies. I can't replace him. There's now emptiness where he once was. Who is to fill it? Who will heal the sick, tell truth from lies? Who will... Kara. Who will plumb the depths? Only a Menku can cut a body. Only a Menku can pierce the unknown. Who will draw the lines? All this Menku talk is just a relic of a bygone age. Father was fond of it, yes, but the kin are extinct. You are wrong. Look at the items I am giving you. Open the Utkar and touch those items. A list. And Twyron. There is a familiar name on Father's list. In fact, there's probably more than one familiar name. Isn't there? А может быть лучше вывернуться наизнанку? Do any of these items seem familiar? What are they? Just shrubbery, various kinds of twire, herbs. Why would he leave me herbs? He used to make herbal medicine, things used to cure any malady. He was a menku, a knower of connections. He saw which things sing in unison when joined. That's what the lines are, even if you say you need not this knowledge. I'm shin. You speak differently, more like a normal townsperson. I thought you were one of the kin. You are to come into your inheritance, Emshin. I change for you. Take a route on your path, Chaya D. Thank you for this. Thank you. Anyway, who are the people listed on this piece of paper? Closer, let my tired eyes see it. The names of local children. Khan is what they call the Cane Boy. Kapala is the daughter of the Master. May he choke on his name. But I know not why is it or listed them. I know some of these children already. Which ones? Not King Lee's a gang that keeps invisible pets. Mature for his age. Hmm. He did pay attention to these children. Spent most of his final days with them. They followed him. Like calves that trailed after a cow or oxen pulled by a yoke. His last days, you say. Wait, that's a lead I can follow. You think one of them has something to do with his death? Doubtful. They're still just children. Then again, children hold so much power in this town that it wouldn't be surprising. But they loved him, they did. No, I believe it not. I can also see something else on this list. An eighth item, some sort of sigil. Does this also refer to a child? This is a brand for marking bulls, but brands of the kin often have specific meanings. Bikara, this one is Udurk. Tough to parse. It means something like a a big body or a special body, a body that contains a lot, but I'm not sure it may just be a sigil. By Allah, supper. I now come into my legacy. Who could interpret this for me? I am your father, not Cholbun. I can instruct you not. You are to learn on your own, speak to people. Most of all, speak to those who knew your father well. This is how you may come into your legacy. What do you mean? In this place, you must come into your legacy through action, not mere words, by showing you understand the contents of the vessel. Follow your father's trails, learn who he was, and find yourself a fate. A fate, like a good wife, Emshin. Your wife. I choose to walk my own trails, Kate. Нет. Уколот ему ничего не скажет. Мы не жалуем чужаков. 
then you will know what kind of man he was and what kind of man you are to become. Do you know what kind of man he was? Your father was a minhu. He was respected for it. He was respected because he was a doctor. More than that. Fine, and also because he was a just and dutiful man. He knew the lines. What lines? Lines. That's just a philosophy, like Tao or phenomenology. What's a Tao? Never mind. What are lines in your interpretation? Lines represent the paths between things, the links that connect them, the laws that govern our lives. Between your evil sky and kind earth is a line. The veins of our lifeblood are lines. A line carries the inevitable retribution for evil deeds, family ties, the way children reflect their parents. Those are lines, too. Everything is connected to everything else in some way, Sahaba. Hence me pointing out this is a useful philosophy. Useless philosophy. Everything is connected. <laughs> no son of Isidore would utter such drivel. It reaches my ears not. Father was a doctor, not a philosopher. He knew how to heal. That as well. He knew how a body is composed because he knew the lines. He knew how a kidney links to a herb so he could brew a curative tea from it. He knew how one herb linked to another. He knew how to draw a knife to cut a body but bring no harm. Yes, he did indeed know all of that. Now hear me well, Imshin, for my next words are crucial. This first couple of days will be hardest for you. You'll be surrounded by lines innumerable. Some you must tear apart, others follow, others still cut yourself. Only thus will you reach the end. I've taken your words to heart, Kitty. Douse your eyes. What are you planning to do? Where will you start? I'll look closer at the kids. Where do you gather them? And who's the eighth? Suspicious. Hence me saying that you will only come into your legacy if you follow his trail. Do what he used to. All you Barachs are alike. Men of action. I've told you all I know, Imshin. Be on your way now. Farewell, Saba. And thank you. By Allah. By your kind, Fatim. What deeds can I do? Can I undertake that should prove I am truly my father's son? There is, however, a familiar name on his list. Multiple familiar names, perhaps. Perhaps we should go to Grace first. The cemetery. We've met her now. She may have something interesting to say. What have you got in your pockets? Tools. Forget him. Here's what I want to know. What business did you have with my father, old Burach? Well, we actually went to his place often. He used to teach us things. Why do you ask? So you used to go to his place together? All of you? Everyone on this list here? Sometimes we'd all go together. Sometimes in twos or threes. Sometimes alone. A lot of things happen. Why are you asking? It's not like we bothered him. He invited us. Maybe one of you knows how he died, then. Maybe you? No, I don't think he would. Kid, you're clearly hiding something, but it's very important for me to know. Do you understand? You know what? Ask Capella. She's the eldest of the all. The best explainer. She's a good person, too. Capella? Who's that? Fat Vlad's daughter. But she's not like him at all. She even lives in a separate wing of the house. Is it a good thing or a bad thing that they're different? She is, like, uh, a big sister to us all. She put together a union. A, a union? What union? Don't worry about it. Just a, a union. For people under 15. Anyway, ask her. She might be mad at me if I say too much. Okay. An interesting grave. For an interesting person. An architect, I believe. Let's turn around here. Right. Well. <laughs> time to go to a district where we're hated. Whoops. 
Fuck, that wasn't smart. Here, have this item. This is for you. What's this? A sign of trust. As we share things with each other, so do we share our feelings, warmth, kindness. We see now that you're a good person. The town trusts you. Do you want to become its part? I know this game. We're barter and share. Do you like the item I've given you? Will you find any use for it? I don't really know what you need. I chose randomly. We don't know you very well yet. What do you want in exchange? It doesn't matter. All that matters is that there was an exchange. You give me something of yours and receive something of mine. All items are charged with bits of your warmth and life. Give me whatever you want. To others, give what they want. They won't ask a lot. So if you share generously and give more than is asked, the town will remember that. It's just a token after all. A tradition. So if I barter at a loss, people would see me as a better person? Yes. Go and barter with different people. Not anyone in particular, just different. Women and men, teenagers and little kids. We'll see what happens. I look like an idiot, that's what will happen. <laughs> and what happens? You'll get to know us better. We'll get to know you better. Our town is like a family. You've returned. Now, please help us remember, accept, and maybe even love you. I'm saying it on behalf of everyone. Please relay my gratitude to them. Random items. Not ones I need. I swear to god there's some twirling near here. I can hear it. The buzzing of flies. It's on the other side of the fence though, I think. We just should probably just head north into the town. We'll come this way up. We bartered at a loss multiple times with other people. We should hopefully be able to re regain our reputation in the gut. The buzzing of flies usually accompanies the twirin. And it is good to have twirin right trading. See you tonight at Saba's place? It's dangerous, yes. This Ngapa Nguzdom's place you must not bring outsiders. Everyone's looking for a shop Nakadig. It's good they forgot Saba. I'm an outsider. Why are you telling me this? Your kin, Katanger. Saba talks about you a lot these days. We waited for you, Yargachin. Got it. I don't know why I'm unwelcoming you still. But still. This gives us a bit of time. Oh no, not again. Why aren't you running away? Aren't you scared? Boo! Of course I'm scared, but I'm a brave man. I have bone legs, see? I am a clay wench. I cannot walk, but whoever sees me runs away in fear. You should run away too. Isn't it boring just sitting here in one place? I'm not bored. Clay wenches don't get bored. How do you know so much about them? You're ruining it. Run away already. Ugh, I can't even stop my foot. I'll bite you. Okay, okay, okay. Children reflect the games of their peers, it would seem. But are we not all just children playing games? Have you been to the governor? About the patrols, I mean? The pay is good, but too good, actually. Suspicious. What's going on with that? What patrol? All strong men who aren't cowards should report at the town hall, it went. They might even announce an emergency situation. I wonder why. A revolt at the factory, maybe? It's not working. You hear the silence? I guess they haven't called the murderer yet. Maybe they need to get people for a raid. Hmm. There's a lot of things going on. Perhaps I can just clear my name enough to be tra to trade with people. I can always trade with the kids. Except these ones. But I'm a 
bit lost as to how to regain enough reputation in, to be valid. What do you want, Tragedian? Where go, you friend? What plan is next to follow? Plan to go on with my life. What say the townsfolk? Townsfolk? They're so alike, aren't they? A backdrop of faceless. They surely know nothing important, right? A hive, a swarm, a flock. No use for names. Whatever one knows, they all shall know in turn. Why should I care? The crowd is but a many-headed beast, like it or not. You are but one such head. They know you better than you know yourself. Have you heard them, Burdak? Communication. See how it means finding common ground? Oh yeah, they were eager to communicate with me yesterday. My ears are still ringing. They now know something of your tale, Burdak. From each one, a different strand of it. Some know where you are to go. Others will say why you must go. And some will warn of danger, terrible danger, that you may avoid it. You said they're a swarm, all alike. Untrue. Grown-ups will know what children don't, and children know what stepkin do not. Such is the mechanism of life that turns in its own petty pace from day to day. You choose only whose lips you reach. Re uh, you choose only whose lips reach your raised ears. I'm used to only relying on myself. That is because you are alone, Burdak. Confused, alone, losing the plot, Burdak. Does not the map of your own mind suffice? Then talk, communicate. Hear me now. Teensies and tots, the town's own young, indeed already know who waits for you today. If you're in doubt, then speak to one, any child. But what should I do exactly? Where should I go next? Talk to the crowd, Burdak, to face the folk, also alike in their great numbers. Hear them, the buzzing swarm, the squawking flock, the scent of the trail you seek is in there, what they will say. For life is what they talk about. And see, Doctor, sorry, and see, Burdak, a doctor's path is too about life. True. They're too fickle. They say one thing at dawn and another at dusk. Alright. We're gonna have to be really fucking careful here. I want to try and sneak around. I just need to avoid... The dead are gone. I just need to avoid getting on the wrong side of any of these guys yet. I sent my little rats to get groceries this morning, but they still haven't come back. I wonder if they think food will miraculously buy itself. You're out of food. Have you been living under a rock, darling? Prices are soaring. Salt costs twice as much today as it did yesterday. And where's the grain? I haven't seen wheat in a week. Really, what could happen next? There's still no train. People are worried. What if it never comes? We'll all starve. We'll survive on meat. Olgimski isn't entirely heartless. He won't let us come to starvation. <laughs> right. If it not for the Canes and the Sabarovs, he'd hang himself before he shared anything with the people. You're naive as a child. I wonder if I should go to the station and get them. Go where? It's a place where they hang out, waiting on trains. Better than that damn tower. Why don't you go there and fetch them? I don't want to meddle. No, it's, it's alright. At least they're in town, staying close. My neighbor hasn't seen her children in... I don't know how long. Damn tower took them all. Thanks for reminding me about the prices. Right. Well. Our tire is in the termitary, isn't she? Why was it locked? Will they open it soon? Wait a second, what tire? Tire Tai Cheek. Tire Tai Cheek. But we call her the Mother Superior. Mother Superior. Isn't that cool as heck? It's Capella's idea. It is a mouthful. Perhaps someone else I need to talk to. Tiatai is in the termitary, the giant bunkhouse for all the workers. You've seen it before. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I'm not sure if there's another entrance into the back of here. Other than... 
Yep, there wasn't. Oh, Christ. Right. Ah. We'll just run in and shut the door behind us quickly. Yulia. Yulia Lurcheva. You are? Marjorie Burdock, a doctor. How can I help you? What can you do? Little in the way of medicine. I'm a mathematician specializing in spatial calculations. The finite element method. I doubt that you'd be interested. You're not a local, right? Of course. I arrive at Simon Kane's request to lay out the roads and plan out the towns of development. Huh. A town doesn't look like it was planned by a mathematician. Gaines had a rather unusual notion of how they wanted the town's roots planned. They believed the roots of choice influenced people's mood, their soul state. I found the challenge intriguing, but a bit insane. A bit. Gaines are completely off their rocker. Well, they have built the polyhedron, haven't they? There it is. I was even allowed to ascend it, though I wasn't allowed inside. The cathedral, the crucible, the still water. All those buildings are machines that work with the same idea. What idea? When a person finds themselves in a relatively enclosed space, it influences their inner state in a certain way. It's no secret. The Canes are trying to create buildings that enhance spiritual growth. Is in? Well, we're moving towards the field of philosophy now. Not my area of expertise. But, as far as I can tell, in their eyes, humans aren't paragons of animals, but rather larvae. They believe the human spirit is a spring to be stretched. Their favorite image. Why stretch it? To make people desire new things. Weird things. Things beyond their limits. Such attempts do not bode well. Yulia is an interesting character. I think we'll find out more about her as time goes by. So... We'll also find out a bit more about the polyhedron, the crucible, the cathedral. The giant looming tower on the other end of the other end of the city. Небо в тумане, земля в обмане, ну а в кармане чепуха на аркане. You're out to me, Burak. Greetings. Greetings to you too. Are you all Gimsky's daughter? Yes, my name is Victoria, but my friends call me Capella. Well, we'll be friends. Yes. Really? How did you figure it out so fast? I can see. I haven't mastered the art yet, but I do see things sometimes. It's a gift I inherited from my dear mother. You're talking about clairvoyance or what? I mean, it's hard to explain. Sometimes I know what a person will say before they say it, or imagine a situation and the next day it unfolds exactly how it was in my head. Sometimes I even know how past events I wasn't present for, like which drawer father put papers into years ago. Powerful gift if you're telling the truth. Not that powerful. Not with me. Not like my mother. She could see it will. Although even with her it could be fickle. I only see rarely and I don't control it at all. I see, I see. Your undue sarcasm has been noted. It's not so rare a gift in this town. There were once several women who could see. Mother, Nina Kaina, Katarina Saborova, perhaps. Outsiders arrive with such skepticism, but they are always soon astonished. Astonish me then. You likely aren't afraid of blood, right? Of course not, I'm a surgeon. Do you know what I see? Under your feet the hard soil acts as though spring melt, each step forming an imprint filled with red. You leave pools of clotted blood in your wake, Artemy Burdak. I thought this must be about the murders, but you are no murderer. What does it all mean? You're asking me? I have no idea. My brother is very good, but very unhappy. Это потому что он не умеет строить. Did something happen? You look worried. I want to ask you something. Go ahead. You wrote this note. Here, take a look. Why are these names listed together? Yours is on here too. I don't know, but I have a suspicion. 
Why are you frowning? Is it something bad? Well, no. About a year ago, your father began to seek our company. We all met together sometimes, in twos or threes. It happened naturally. He taught us, I suppose, but not anything special. I think it was more about passing down something. Something of great importance. Can't make heads or tails of what you're saying. You're an outsider. It's difficult to explain. We kids have our own town within the town, a separate one, and we govern it on our own. Don't give me that patronizing look. It's not some game. You, you wouldn't understand anyway. I grew up here. I knew all this before you learned the alphabet. Fine. Do you want to know why your father spent time with us or not? Yes, I do. Your father was shrewd. You can see beneath crude earth, petty lies and hard truths, Khan used to say. Khan didn't like him much, but even he got out of Polyhedron to talk to him. He believed we were the ones who would remake this town, rebuild and, and conduct it in the future. Remake? Do you mean... De destroying this town? I don't know. Perhaps it doesn't need to be so drastic, although the more I think about it, the more disturbing it sounds. Perhaps there is a catastrophe upon us. Rumor has it the war moves eastward, and it won't end. Perhaps something is about to happen? God forbid, of course. Do you even believe in God? No, I don't. What about you? Neither do I. Girls your age usually say, oh, I believe there's some higher power. That's what he was preparing us for. Changing the town. I can see it now. He taught each of us something important. Perhaps perhaps he gave a piece of himself to us. Yeah, that, that must be what he did. No, oh, Dad. I shall not wholly vanish, no. Always the sly fox. Nah, no drawers here, no books to read. But a portrait of her dear mother. Into the fire she went. I don't know why Yulia is hanging out here, to be honest, but eh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, to God, no one spawned here. Hey, uncle. Dig a hole for us, will you? What for? We need it. <coughs> this is actually hard work. What will be my reward? A burial gift? Everyone gets to take something away from her funeral. That's why we're holding it. You burying a cat? Yeah, I mean, no, not a cat. And whom? Just the eighth. Huh? The, the eighth what? Well, the previous seven are already pushing the daisies, and nothing bad happened when we buried them, because the holes were shallow. I guess shallow ones are allowed. All right. I'll dig you a hole. There is something wicked beneath this earth. But perhaps not so deep. Or perhaps too deep for children to unearth it with simple shovels. For all the children do is mimicry of the adults. What must we observe? A game? About death. Morbid, no? How many times must we practice, observe, rehearse the rites of death?
are we to make of this? My wife was killed yesterday. How can I look our children in the eyes now? I've lost the right to be called their father. Why? I promised her we'd share every joy, every woe. I promised to protect her. What use is that now? What use of words without action? What could you have done? I could have been assertive, think faster when it went down. I could have acted quickly, efficiently, instead of staying in my head. If only... What's done is done. Live on, pal, for the children. Still hated them. Hmm. Other names to pursue. Tayataichik in the Termitary, the Khan in the Polyhedron, and Governor Sabarov. Perhaps we should at least pick up a kidney. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. of we for herbs here. Well. Time to run. Wait, what are you doing here? Are you sad? What do you care? I just wanted you to know I sympathize. I, I never had parents. I never had anyone, so I know how terribly awful it must feel right now. If you never had parents, then you don't. I'm sorry I said mean things to you. That's why you think I'm evil, isn't it? But it was the truth. It's fine, I don't hold a grudge. I just wanted you to know that the girl from the cemetery, Grace, is talking to your father right at this moment, and I think it strains her a great deal. Are you messing with me again? They're speaking, and I think it's killing her. Could you tell her to stop, please? I think she might listen to you. I feel sorry for her, do you understand? Right at this moment, you say? Right at this moment. And he's responding. Why won't you believe I'm a good person, Burdak? Open your eyes! I speak the truth! Remember, I'm always speaking the truth! Fine, I'll take a look, but if it turns out that you've lied to me... Well. Time to run. Stay yet. No. No, no, no. Well, let's just keep power walking away from danger. space anyway. Why did I pick up the twire? Why did I keep that with me? That's foolish. I should have just left it. Oh well, I have it now, so I might as well keep using it. Right. Let's make an efficient path. We go down here, we talk to Grace, we go up to talk to Taya Taichik, we go up to Governor Sabarov, and then we go down and across to the Khan. We do one round trip across the town. At least we try and make it as round as possible. Does that seem sensible? Is this the best way to efficiently plan our day? It's better to work with a minimal. I don't believe Stark takes me for patricide. He can't be that stupid. Right, well. Oh shit, it's 12 a.m. already? <sighs> so 
sometimes you find twirring around the back of the air, I think. Anywhere where grass grows, herbs can grow too. But perhaps not this time. Okay. Got it. Twire is important. What are you doing here, Murky? Why did you come here? I don't need you. Nobody here needs you. We're not friends with her anymore, anyway. No longer friends with whom? Grace. Why? She's killing herself. Grace is. She doesn't care. Killing herself. She talks to the dead for real, touches them with her head, but it kills the living. I'm telling her that's not how it's done, but she won't listen. Touches them with her head. What? Yes, touches them with her head. And that's killing her. Yes, Clara says Grace will die completely if she does it three more times. You know a different... Clara who? My new friend? She says my way is better. What way? There's another way. I can show you. Come on, just walk with smaller steps. Wait a second, I want to check on Grace first. Where is she? What is she doing? No, 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 no. Why did you come? You aren't allowed to be here now. Is it true you spoke to my father today? No, I, I didn't. Grace, that's what they call you, right? L look at me. All right, fine. It, it's, it's true. The dead need to be spoken with, otherwise they're in too much pain. Do they answer? Sometimes. When they do, I feel pain too. The girl told me it kills you slowly. Is that true? Clara, right? But she praised me. She said I'm doing the right thing by consoling the dead. She's a very kind girl. There are those who hate her for some reason. Can you help me talk to my father? Does it kill you or does it not? It hurts me. Clara says I only have enough strength for three or four more conversations. After that, I may die. What did my father say to you? He said that it hurts, but he never expected it, that it was strange. As if a friend had killed him. He's very sad he didn't get to see you. But he also said nothing would have changed even if you'd gotten here on time. Something would have changed. He'd still be alive. I need rest. Can you come back later, please? I don't feel so well right now. Let me talk to my father. I'll leave after. Uh, oh, shit. It had had to be done. Cool deed, but necessary. An inoculation. Father, can you hear me? No need for repentance nor confessions. I should have done it five years ago, during the first outbreak. I wasn't brave enough. It was spreading like wildfire. Father, who are you talking to? It's me, Artemy, your son. No need for fear either. Death is not the worst fate for a man, nor a town, for that matter. To earn their right to live, one must first pass the trial of death. I only recently realized that, but it is true. Tell that to the kin. You're talking to someone else. It will be difficult and terrible. My heart aches for those who will fail the trial. Some will die. Many will. We couldn't keep living the old way. How do we differ from animals? As nature, only the strong survive. What happened five years ago? Yes, it sounds cruel. The words of tyrants who stop wars and reform countries. But we're talking about nature. We can't just lock the door when it knocks. We must face it, proving our right to live on this earth. I just know that I respect you and love you. Especially since there will be no rest. Not ever. Indeed, there won't be. <laughs> I think it's best I leave. It's 
himself. You said you'd show me how to talk to the dead. Yes, I know a different way. Let's go then. Just go slow, I've got short legs and I can't run. Why can't you run? It's not polite. Not polite. Yes, it makes the earth mad. It's, it's alive after all. Well, that makes sense now. Let me carry you. Here? Here, I guess, here. Alright. It's beautiful here. Do you often come here alone? Aren't you scared? Shh, listen to the swavery grow. Swavery? We need swavery and twire. A blade of each kind. It's pretty. It is, but I'm not sure what you want me to do. Now you go pick grass. Which plants? I just told you, swavery and three kinds of twire. Pretty blades. Don't you know this grass is magic? Alright. It's all around here somewhere. Good lord. It's not easy to spot the stuff. Rats are everywhere here. Oh. Uh, right, what shall I? Let's see. What can I put down? Oh, there we go. Yeah. These are the right blades. Magic enough. How can you tell which herbs are magic? The ones that grow from a person? A person in the ground, I mean. Like mom and dad. You wanted to talk to your dad, right? You still do. Go ahead then, talk to him. How? Oh, I thought you wanted to teach me. What am I supposed to teach? You just need to want it really hard. Close your eyes tight too, it'll happen. It's all just, just daydreaming. I did not lie. I did not. I don't need you. Nuh uh. Not at all. It's my own fault for taking a kid too seriously. What is there about you to love? I don't want you. Nuh uh. I'm not imposing myself on you. Poor girl. Not easy when you're growing up alone. To be honest, I can put down the knife, put the scalpel there, and pick up this. Finding as many herbs as possible is quite important. They will become very important later. But I do struggle to find them sometimes. Okay, we go up here, and then we go across. I think it's probably the best way to go, is up and across. In the meantime, we'll trade with whoever we can. Uh, 
all day. Uh, what you giving me with this thing? A couple of nice dreams. All right, I'll give you. Um, what do you like? So my father might little one, but that's only a dream. Uh, not really got enough to be worth that price. Candle studs, peanuts. this thing for several days. It wasn't easy, of course, with this. I share with you my fear, my sorrow, and my anger. It was tough, but now it's become a little easier. Just a little. Thank you for easing my burden. Just to have some of my warmth. Warmth is life. I need to talk to Khan at the tower, but the town is all the buzz now. It makes me kind of reluctant to leave. What's over? You blind, big fella? Just look over there, the tower across the river, our polyhedron, the only place where life is real. Khan, I know the name. So he's in the tower. Information we already knew, but information nonetheless. Of course, we're running slightly too high on inventory space. Um, so boring. How much longer do we have to wander the streets? It's boring everywhere. Capella said that we can't go to the nutshell until the evening, so we wait. The nutshell? Why is it called that? Because it's empty, plus it's close to the station. I mean, the passenger station. Oops, hush, you don't know about this. Just forget it. Already forgotten. By our last supper. With this, I give you some of my hope. We have no doctor now who will help us, who will treat injuries or deliver children. You're a surgeon, you can do all that. So have some of our hope. And hope often leads to love. I haven't carried this item for long, but there's a little me in it. Still, have some of my warmth. Ah, oh, shoot. That thing's huge in terms of inventory space. Walls. Why did I trade for this? Eh. It will do. Great. With this item, I give you some of my luck, I guess. People say I have that in spades. Don't know if I believe it. Now, what will you give me? Compassion. Probably have traded with a lot of people by now. Right. Okay. That's... Some of us wait for you at the square, the bridge square, that is, in the stone yard. You know how to get there? Why there? I don't go there often. You should, it's pretty. Anyway, they thought you went to see the judge. Kane, I mean, Georgi. They can wait a bit longer. No, they can't. Go there. They're doing it for you. You shouldn't keep them waiting. We're not your servants. Didn't say anything like that. Ooh. 
I don't have enough for the more morphine. I probably do have a little bit too much morphine there, though. Uh, candlestick for... no. Not really worth it as a trade. Not really worth it as a trade. Right, well... Upwards and onwards. Ah, my reputation seems to have improved to pretty passively neutral everywhere. Okay. Pulse. Inventory Tetris is the worst kind of Tetris. <laughs> to constantly have to play. Oh well. Uh. <laughs> Not a loot. Because the food is more important. There it is. Right. Good. Right. To be honest, I can just do that. A little bit more space. Right. Now we can go and visit Reuben. Must know I'm here. Кто возьмет на себя ответственность за нас? Okay, so here we are again. I managed to calm down Stuck. He was wrong about you, or he was not entirely right, at least. What got into him? You should let him speak for himself. I want to talk to you first. He can wait. We already offered your. Father's inheritance cup? Refuse it, I beg you. Do not follow his path. Why would I refuse? I don't know if I can properly explain this. There's there's no happiness down this path, not for yourself or others. Your father's path was cruel, cub. My father? C cruel? He was a kind man, but his deeds were ruthless. A surgeon can't avoid spilling blood. All in all, this is a quiet town. Not perfect, but there's a place for everyone. We're all connected through bonds of love, of friendship, of patience. Life flows through those bonds, like town's veins, and to cut them would cause harm. Your father, don't be bad, he, he dreamed of remaking it all. Being awfully poetic about this. He was a healer, sure. He knew life as no one else could. The kin revered him, but even that did us more harm than good in the end. What do you mean? Five years ago, there was an outbreak in the Grood Spoil. It spread like wildfire, dozens and dozens dead. People sent for Isidore. When he arrived, he... He ordered the whole quarter to be quarantined. No one could leave, not even the healthy people trapped inside. Impossible. The townsfolk obeyed his orders without question. They barricaded the whole neighbourhood. In the end, there were almost no survivors. But the town lived on. I suppose that is true. But, Cub, do not take his inheritance. Isidore's inheritance is his power, his authority, his duties. If you become another Isidore, we will never rest. We will never know peace. Peace only lasts until the next war. Why did you come? Finally thought of some good excuses. I'll be damned. You shaved your head. Preparing to become a monk. Or a soldier. Yesterday I was told that you'd killed your father. Who told you that? The whole town believed it. First people found out he was dead, then learned he was killed by an outsider, and then they described you. The only fact in that pile of shit is that I arrived on the night of his death. It was not only a death, he was murdered. How many people live in this town, moron, yet you still point to me as the culprit? That's not far from the truth, Podak. 
You knew all this time I'm not a murderer. You just meant it as what? Some metaphor? I called you a friend. You betrayed him. You left when he needed you most. He cried out for your help and you didn't care. He was in peril and you were too busy elsewhere. He believed, truly believed that your arrival would put an end to his troubles. And as always, he was right. <sighs> Take a breath, calm down and explain. What peril? What do you know? No, he wouldn't tell me. Suggest that we wait for you to arrive. But you were in no hurry, were you? His first letter was sent in May. I only got a single letter two, maybe three weeks ago. It's a war, you asshole. Do you think the trains come to this town often? Lara said I'm stupid, that I've lost my marbles, but I haven't. Your father always taught us to take stock of the situation, Burak. Overall, you're unneeded here. Don't bother with your father's inheritance. He has better heirs. Already thinking about the inheritance, huh? Some of us still grieve. His inheritance isn't... Things. It's different, and don't you dare accuse me. As for you, Gravel, don't interfere. Who's investigating the murder? No one. But all you care about is some inheritance, and you dared to accuse me. Tell me what you know. I know he was murdered by someone he knew too. Someone he trusted. Someone who could easily enter his house. This is what's important, idiot, not an inheritance. Shut up. Your father's inheritance is his work. Burak, that's his legacy. You are completely unworthy of it. His work is not yours. His knowledge is not yours. You abandoned both. He sent me away, you jackass. He wanted me to study elsewhere. Go elsewhere, then. Learn whatever it is you'll learn there. Here you have no place. And if the kin tells you to let go of his burden, listen. Perhaps even that scum can be right sometimes. You're out of your depth here. I'm not going anywhere. You should listen to Gravel. You're acting stupid. The eighth is in danger. Something is wrong. Ruben is an idiot. I mean, yes. But how do we how do we move forward from here? Where do we go? Taya Tai Chic. She's perhaps the only one that'll actually be able to tell us what's going on. Taya Tai Chic is another name on the list. Another one that my father knew of knew something about, knew something was important about, but what it was, I don't know. Oh shit! What? It was an accident, I swear. She was trying to get out, not fall down. She held on so tight. Why well, is there a fire or something? The cemetery got locked in, didn't you know? All Gimsky's orders. Rumor has it the workers were on strike. Strike? <sighs> Finally. People are like sunflower seeds to Big Vlad. He extracts their lifeblood like oil. They've had enough. They've had it with working both day and night shifts so often. So we lock them in to keep contained. To protect the town. Or we'd have a riot. A third of the town works for the Bull Enterprise. Are they all inside? Like beasts in a cage. Huh. Well, I'm not going to autopsy again so quickly. Learned that one the hard way. Mother Bodo, caress your step, Yarkachin. Have some coin. We've collected it. There is a lot. Tell them the lat is into the warren. We are scared. The warren? You mean the termitary? It's foul, cramped, suffocating. Too high, too concrete, but safe. You're hiding from the mob. Calm down, relax. Why oh, speak of it? Evil is coming, Yarkachin. You know it too. Inside lives Taya, overseer Tai Cheek's daughter. She can protect us from any evil. No harm will befall the place where the mother superior lives. What evil? Tell him to let us in. Vlad, Vlad will listen to you. Take the money. Just tell him yourself. Alright. Give it to me. I'll try. Here we are, then. 
the cemetery where all of the town's proletariat are locked. What do you want? I need to talk to a certain girl, Taya Tai Chi. Do you know her? If you want to bother someone, go do it at the pub. Or are you looking for trouble? We can help you out. Maybe we can strike a deal. A hundred coins right now. Go ahead and offer them to Fat Vlad if you're so smart. We've got plenty of room for coins. The man shits money. As for me, I like my head attached to my shoulders. Thank you very much. So get out of here. Enough talk. Big Vlad, huh? Well, I guess there's the thought. So we cannot get into the termitary where all the bulls are processed. But we do need to go to Fat Vlad. Okay. So much time has passed already. We are still so much to do. What will you trade me for? Nothing. everywhere still. Alas. My interpretation is that the the means of the of the way the abattoir works is do I want yes. Mildly useful. I don't really want more right now. All right. Anyway, sorry. I'm trading too much. My interpretation of a lot of the metaphors of this so far. I'm going to try and speak quickly to get my thoughts out before I get distracted by the next crisis. My interpretation. All right. I'll do. Is. That the cemetery contains all the workers who are very akin to the proletariat, or at least the previous proletariat. They are being locked in there by someone who is very obviously bourgeois, at least in appearance, in terms that he is the... He literally owns the entirety of the means of the production of this town. Um, ooh. Yep, accepted. Hmm. The polyhedron is very much a revolutionary concept. It is a concept built for revolution, for people to change, for people to entirely alter and break their fates. It is the way to change one's fate and the way to change one's entire world, worldview, universe, if you will. is new. It is a revolution but at a cost. It is the perfection of a world. It is changing a world order, if you will. And therein lies a certain level of danger. We know that this is also somewhat, let's call it, not entirely clear in terms of timing, but it could... How much money do I have? 2,000. Oh, I'm very close to being able to buy the revolver. Uh, 
let's see. Eight. I'll loop. Right. One, two, three, four. We'll get we'll get to all these places. We're, we've still got some time left in the day. Although my exhaustion level is probably creeping on me. Savarov seems sure ready to take up the reins of power. It's about time, if you ask me. Why is that? Because you can't trust people, that's why. The rule of three families was about trust in each other and in the townsfolk. The damned nobles trusted people to govern themselves. And the people? They are unruly beasts. They won't respond to kindness, only strength. In my experience, people respond better to kindness. Our rulers were kind and lenient. Where did it get us? Yesterday, blood flowed like water, and a woman was burned to death at the bone stake lot. Trust. <laughs> Leniency leads to corruption. When we need someone who can keep the rabble in check. Oh, well, there's no point in arguing with you with me all. They won't accept you either, Kayala. Don't they accept people from the kin? It's not because we're the Kathangi, but Sabarov thinks we're both Vlad's people, and they have an arrangement. Bikara, they won't accept the Kane's people either. Be all... <laughs> I'll go now, you goob. Why have you come? The kin have never cooperated with the authorities. There's no work. The factory is closed. Where else should I go? How else can I feed my children? It's not a real job either. The patrols will be disbanded in a week. Where do you think you're going, buddy? I just want to ask something. Everyone here wants to ask something. I'm not here to join the watch. I'm a doctor. I don't give a damn. Wait your turn like everyone else. Get off my case. Greetings. I am sorry to inform you that you're officially banned from joining the watch. Governor's orders. I'm a ban because I'm a doctor. I should be free to do whatever I want. I'd just like to remind you that you're currently on probation. Until the murder of Simon Kane, Isidore Burak, and several others is brought to justice, you're still considered a suspect. There's evidence against you. If blabbering, I'd rather speak to Sabra of himself. Is he inside? Are you here about the house? Well, house. Your own, of course. Our governor's orders was locked down during the investigation of Isidore Burak's death. Since the investigation's over, the governor can grant you access. Isn't that why you're here? Guess it is now. Убийцами руководит Брадобрей по имени Брага. Да уж, Брадобрей. Ah, it's you. We made you a prime suspect yesterday, by mistake. Sorry, that was rash. You were too convincing a suspect. But I won't hear you complain. The error wasn't irrevocable. Right, it's not like you had me executed or anything. Nothing irrevocable about being branded a murderer and did like a dog. Spare me the sarcasm, Barak. Let's get this straight. You're still a suspect, and you'll be a suspect until the murderer is found and proven guilty. The only reason you're walking free is something called the presumption of innocence. Do I make myself clear? Good thing some smart people told you about that. Anything else I can help you with? My house is locked. Do you have the key? The house was locked by the committee that examined the crime scene. There may be evidence. It's in your best interest. And that of the committee. The investigation that doesn't exist. Great. You may have the key. The house is your property, and I have no legal grounds to prevent your access. Even though you'd love to. Grut you mean about We made you a prime Может suspect yesterday. So is it. By mistake. Sorry, that was rash. Yeah. I might just uh da. Ah. This is a conversation that can loop. That's fine. There aren't very many of those, that doesn't normally happen. Okay, I now have the key to my house, at least. Have I done this wrong? Because I should have advanced a quest marker from that. I should have got the key. Hmm. Hmm. 
What did the investigation find? Nothing of interest. We don't have any professional investigators in town. Is it so hard to understand? Although one Bachelor Dunkowski, who the Canes invited from the capital, expressed an interest in their summary, found it appropriate to share their findings with him, so you may inquire with him. I will. Now I need the key. You may have the key. The key house is your property. I have no legal grounds to prevent your access. Exactly. There we go. Now I've got the key. I have the key to my home now. Apologies, there's a glitch in that particular scenario. Right. Down and across, I think, still. And then we'll go back to our house. Or should we go down and... No, that's, that's more efficient. Let's go down and around. Go to the house first. And then across and down and around again. Oh, good lord, something's gone a bit scruffy there. There we go. Let's see. Raisins, boosters, no. I can trade the raisins to someone else for more. It so far. Good lord. Hmm. Okay. At some point, I need to go back and also dump the blood on Lara's. Good lord, there are a lot of things to do. Bah. So many things to do, so little time to do them all in. It's a good trade. I can get more bandages from a from a drunk. And it's absolutely worth having a lot of food in stock. Eh. I'll take it for now. Okay, filling up some water bottles. Perhaps my obsessive trading is a bit much, but uh, I'd rather trade whilst I can. Mm -hmm. In we go. The door is locked. And there it lies. I know you. And so, friends, it begins. Good scalpel. Good scalpel is good to come by.
hooks and fingers. Nails and bones. Смерти, и ты не должен бояться смерти. Смерть собеседник врача. Ежедневный свидетель наших трудов, даже если они удачны. Меня тревожит не предчувствие скорой смерти, но только то, что дело мое может остаться без наследника. Поспешай, мой мальчик. Ты в самом деле мне нужен. С любовью, Исидор Бурах. Твой отец. I have now got a key to the secret factory building. This house has been defiled. I don't want to live in a place where his blood was spilled. But leaving any hand isn't really a good idea either. Shoot, what should we leave? We can leave some of the junk. has left. We have unleashed it. What are you doing here? Холодно так как. Прямо вот холодно, да? I came to pay my last respects to your father. Don't force me out. Did you know him? I didn't. He was already dead when I arrived. Why'd you come then? I want to understand him. Why? I talk to people a lot. They say a lot of good things about your father. Talking to people is my greatest skill, you know. They open up and turn from puppets to... Independent people? You gonna live here now? No, this house is unclean. Ah! Bandage and some chalk. That'll do. What are you doing here? Why are you here? Wrong question, why are you here? Well, I come bearing a sanitary order, so I'm here to examine and quarantine the place. You won't like it in there. Really? Why? Your inside is unhealthy somehow. Might irritate your tender skin. Is that so? Still, with your kind permission, I insist on examining the place. Even if your unkind permission would do. But if you struggle to provide even that, I'll do fine without your consent at all. I hope I don't need to threaten you at gunpoint. Go ahead, then examine the place. And if you can explain what's going on here, be so kind as to tell me too. And, by the way, what is the strange... Mold? I guess is it mold? A thing your house is covered in. Our houses often get scabs around these parts. Don't know. Never seen these before. Oh no. Oh no. There's jam all over the walls. Okay. Uh, 
across. Yep, across. Hopefully we can get there still with decent time to go. Oh no. Stop looking at the jam. House is all sick. It must be shingles. Verochka had shingles last year. Mum thought it was the coughs, but then the doctor said it was just shingles. Rash shingles. Got from a cat, that's what he said. What doctor was that? Grandfather Isidore. He's a good doctor. He gave Verochka an ointment from herbs and ground stuff, but she got better in a week. Only we had to cut her hair. If you ever get sick, go to him. He'll cure you in a second. Thanks, kiddo. That's great advice. If I get sick, I'll go right to him. Why'd you get sad all of a sudden? So you're saying the house is sick, huh? Can't you see? Dad said it's soot, but I don't think it's soot. The house isn't alive. It can't get sick. Who told you that? All the houses are alive around here. Come on, it's made of stone and wood. Nuh uh. They can breathe and talk. For real. You don't believe me? When I was your age, everything talked to me too. Things are only going to get worse. Oh, hey. Once more, children repeat the actions of their fathers. What are you gawking at? Do you know who he is? He's Whitebeard's son. His dad went crazy yesterday and hurt people. So now you want to stone him to death? He started it. A bit too many of you and only one of him, don't you think? He's the same as his father. Ask him. Ask him why his dad's called Whitebeard. Ask him. I'd rather ask you. It's because he's a drunk. He gets smashed and attacks people. He raised a hand against my mom last year. Son does not answer for his father's actions. Why'd you get in our way? One way or another, we'll get him. If he grows up to be like his father, then meet here again in ten years. Same place, same people. My dad didn't hurt anyone yesterday. Tell him to get off me. Even if he did, it wasn't your fault. We all repeat the actions of our parents, don't we? As much as we try and avoid ourselves, tell ourselves that we are different. To some degree, we merely act out patterns. Carry on in the same loops as we always have. I don't always know what to make of that. Loops eternal and forever. But there's no point in carrying junk as much as I would like to. time is it? 17.27. We've still got time. We've still got some time. Time is beginning to run low, but we've still got some. Where is it? It's on the other side of this wall, isn't it? gonna leave that be. Right, what can you give me? Anything else I can get? Okay. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna want them in my in my little lab soon enough anyway. So let's not dump them. Uh, but let's should we drop off some other crap? What can we drop? Extra water bottles. There's not really extra a lot of that I want to drop, to be honest. Not until we get back home. But I'm sure we'll find out. Vlad, my man. Девочка еще ничего, но мальчишка. Ай, мальчишка не выносим. You the one who left my father a note. It was attached to a key. What made you think so? 
Well, it was signed with your initials, and I thought, uh, so that was a key, huh? Signed V.O. More than one person in the world happens to have these initials, but not all of them have keys to spare. I think I know who V.O. is. Ugh. Indeed, that son of mine is punishment from God. Potting behind my back now, but I'll get to him. So that was your son, huh? Also a Vlad Olgimsky. I don't throw keys around. I keep them close. Your father had his own house, and he never locked it. I'm always open. I'm afraid of thieves. Thank you, Master Burak, for letting me know. I'll be sure to investigate this mysterious key. Not every key in this town is yours to throw around, Boos. You're a restless soul, Master Burak, or have you come around to my plan? I need to get into the termitary. What for, if I may ask? There's a girl in there I want to meet. Do you by any chance, you know, oversee a Taichik's daughter? Yes. Small wonder. Taichik's daughter is adored there. Worshipped even. Catered to. Taken care of. Without you. She'll be fine, worry not. Should I worry, though? What's going on in there? Rabble rebels, my boy. Rabble rebels. Working people are easily roused. Quick to abandon their humanity. Turn to rabid beasts. For that's what they are. It's fine, though. They'll come around. But as long as they're rowdy, I'll keep them locked tight. We'll boil over. This is not the first time. Perhaps it's time you start paying them? Don't tell me how to burn my business, my boy. I like you for now. Don't show me your teeth, and I won't have to show you mine. There's a sharp, I know that. You have no idea what you're talking about, Burach. What did they tell you about the cemetery? It is a prison? I built that behemoth of a bunkhouse after the wooden town burned down. They're crammed together in there? Well, they weren't before. It's tight because they're breeding. Do people breed when their conditions are poor? No, they die out. They'd have more space if they did, but they don't. Am I making my point clear? Fine, fine. Let's drop the subject. I can't reach Taya Taichik for now. So, there is more left to go. Perhaps I actually will take the Schmauders with me because I want to drop everything off in my own little personal hideaway. Okay, down this way. Drop junk off at the hideaway. Once we drop junk off at the hideaway, then we can we can speed along. Oh, I'll just use a boat. It'll be quicker. I think. gotten there. Though the day is turning rapidly to evening and I'm I'm not really quite as far as I've wanted to be. Too many things going on, too much to do. Too many places to run. I feel that efficiency has got away from me as much as I wanted to have efficiency. I've lost it slightly. This does feel very much like my working life as a doctor, I will admit. Okay. Here we are. My own little bunkhouse hideaway. Oh. I not I didn't touch anything. Oh, what's going on here? Well, I'm not leaving. You got that? Oh, got it, I got it. You catching rats or something? Why are you yelling at me? 
Old man and I, we used to do a lot of stuff here. I even figured out how to crystallize blue salt. I made extracts myself. I think I was just helping him. I know a lot of stuff. It's on the table then. Did you make that all by yourself, huh? No need to be nasty. Well, if you're a nice one here, go ahead and kindly tell me how you got in. Easy. Someone needs to work the machine after all while the old man walks the step. So I volunteered. Our kind doesn't need keys. What is this machine, anyway? It's a mixer. Old man used to make medicine here, like tinctures, I think he called it. Extracts from all kinds of gross stuff. Huh. You really do know how it works. For some reason, neither of them works. Can you fix them? And I'll... I'll do anything, just don't make me go. Alright, you little house imp, stay. Enough room for both of us here. Now I have a house. Well, the contraption is out of order, I'll need a chunk of scrap metal and a good spring to fix it. Ah. I'm to have both of those things. Seems to be a bit better now. Tumblr human. Don't worry. It's, uh... Tumblr with an E. Shout out to my fan base on Tumblr. I hear you now. Speak, but waste no breath. I remember you, Tumblr Toy. You used to pretend you were alive when I was little. Now, he would have said, this place is our true home. One can work here. Yeah. Home is where your work is. You can sleep here. I can store my things here. Not like I can carry everything around. You can perform operations here. And of course, make medicines. You were a true master. Not good enough to fill your shoes. Live here, son. Live and continue our work. This place is yours now. Here you can do anything. Here you can do anything. That's exactly what he would have said. The alarm book works. Golden hands. Now let's review for what it's for. Remember old Mars? Of course, it's a tincture made from herbs. Correct. Tinctures are foundation of every treatment. The step has graced us with its wondrous herbs. Twire, the queen of plants. Swevery, ash and swish, white whip. Tell me what's so good about them. They, uh, have astringent properties, I believe. Must prove your immunity. Properly prepared, a good tincture is a powerful booster. Correct. They reveal the symptoms of a disease and improve immunity. How would you make a tincture? You need to combine only two different herbs. This way a link will form. Oente. Clear water and two different herbs. You can find both here. Look in the cabinet. Make a single old mar for a start. Bucaro, this place is well stocked. You've always been thrifty, old man. And shall we start with black, blood, or brown? We should probably make a little note about this as well. Excuse me whilst I just uh, grab a pen and some paper. Each of these will provide something different. It's worth noting and remembering which things provide which things. So, let's mix... Cannot mix uh, brown and brown. So brown and black. Brown plus black. Excuse me whilst I write. Creates Zerk tincture. Zerk. Okay. Brown plus black equals Zerk. Black plus blood. Okay, and Zerk is orange. Black and blood create Medrel, which is green. And, sorry, that's black and brown, black and blood, so I need blood and brown to make yas. Yas! Queen, slay, blood and brown. Equals.
equal yes white which is I guess a bit basic so and we want to make another red drill so we black and blood Okay, so we have the basic forms of each of these tinctures. Menku knowledge. Tincture is made of water and herbs. Tinctures are brewed from various herbs, swayat, savory, ash and swish, and white whip. Tinctures require clean water from barrels and fountains. Here we go. Now what do I do? Oh, hello. Our mom is some sort of wicked disease, Doctor. Can you give my little sister something to keep her safe? She's a frail one. This September is truly foul. Just don't let your mother get close to her while she's sick. Our place is cramped. We can't make her sleep in the street, can we? Let's take a look at your sister, then. She is currently in danger. Administer an immunity booster. Boost immunity. All three. Treatment already assigned. You did all you could. Good. Now let's get down to curing people. What always comes first? <laughs> An examination. Correct again, but you are forgetting something. Pain. P Pain comes in the examination. My god, people. Right. Um, first, actually, it's history. You take the history, then you examine, and then you assess, and then you treat. But still, I suppose... Unavoidable pain is probably going to take precedence, so pain. No, forgetting something. Pain. Pain is our greatest ally. It reminds us that we're still alive. It drives us to action. However, when a patient is unbearable pain, we cannot uncover which layer has come out of balance. Of course, we must keep the pain in check. You're better off without preparing Ulmas to no, you're better off without preparing Ulmas that relieve pain. That knowledge is taboo. Stick to morphine and you'll be fine. Any medicine is fine if it lets you avoid making cuts. I'll stick to morphine. Well, I wonder why it's taboo. Will you teach me all this stuff? Mixing the herbs, choosing the right ones, all that? If you prove to be smart, I might. Okay. Patient is in pain. Administer a painkiller. Needs diagnostics. Well, let's just reduce that pain to zero. If a patient is fully in pain, it will take four milligrams of morphine. Four vials of morphine, actually, and each vial is probably more than <laughs> more than a milligram, let's face it, but let's call it four vials of morphine. Let's call them a milligram each. Maybe two. This is time for the most important part. Do you remember what a meat is? Good lord, sorry about that. Do you remember what a meat is? They are the bones, nerves, and flesh. This has always struck me as strange. What about blood and internal organs? Why aren't the bones the deepest layer? I told you time and again that triangular plots ruin imagination. I also told you that our ancestors perceived the world as a single whole and treasured its many links and connections. Respect the clarity of thought they possessed. What is the most important part in your knowledge of the layers? Knowing the exact nature of an illness is not necessary for healing. Affecting the correct layer, however, can bring a patient back to normal. How do the Ulmars and different herbs correspond to these layers? You can link them all to colors from the nomics. White, yellow, and rusty. Let's say you're making an ulma from two herbs. How do you know which color you'll get? One of the herbs decides. How am I supposed to remember all the properties of all the herbs? If memory fails you, there is nothing I can do to help. You're talking to yourself, remember. I remember. Learn the properties of the herbs in due time. 
Only this way will you understand how things are connected. Grab more herbs and water. Prepare an ulmar of every color. Go in blind for now, and the herbs will reveal themselves to you. Try again and again. This is how you will learn to link things together. I've already made them. The ulmar of every color is linked to a specific layer. Tell me how. You can only reveal the symptoms of that layer. Correct. However, there is a catch. What do you think it is? Symptoms can be misleading. Yes, your job is to eliminate all the wrong possibilities. Yet every single tincture I give the patient hurts them. That is so. You have to keep an eye out for pain levels. It's time to act, son. Uncover the symptoms. Determine which layer is out of balance. Do your best to use as few Elmaris as possible. You have everything you need. I'll be observant. Where do we think the source of the infection is? Let's see. Diagnosis is unclear. It is either yellow, blood, or green in the nerves. It's either in the blood or the nerves. Let's go to Bash. Well, we know it's definitively profuse sweating. It is in the nerves. Now you know which layer the illness is hiding on. Time to administer the antibiotics. I wish there are three kinds as well. That is true. Shouldn't give too many at once. Too big of a risk. Yes, you can only administer a single one. Antibiotics are harmful, as you know. You'll learn to make your own, but later. For now, you can use pills. There should be a stash around here somewhere. Choose the correct one. Now there's no room for mistakes left. Barymycinium, monomycinium, neomycinium. Well, I think we know where it is. This is successful. You did all you could. Only a miracle will help now. See, that wasn't so hard. Soon you will remember everything. You'll make a great healer. A healer I'll be proud of. Alright. Goodbye, Tumblr. Playtime is over. Time to get to business. Oofed. Right. Okay, shall we? That is Svevery. As Blood Twire. Right, we need to make, I think, one of each at least. So, Svevery, right, Weapon Ash, and Swish. Add extras. So, let's make our base tinctures at least. Hmm. We've only got four brown twire, though. Okay. So, what have we got? Brown and swervery. Okay, let's write this down. Brown plus swervery equals... Magical tincture plus... Plus. Okay. So. Brown. And Swevery make a good one. Okay. Brown. So. Swevery and black. So. Black plus Swevery equals. Another green. Okay, Swabbery tends to produce greens. Equals green. Another green plus. Okay. Let's change our tact then. So, Swabbery produces green plus. Ash and Swish produces. Let's find out. Actually, no, let's, let's, hmm. Swevery 
and black swevery and brown swevery and blood. A green one. Okay. Green plus. Okay. First here. Oh shit, time is still passing. Right, okay. Um, white whip and... White whip and black. That'll do. Funnily enough, white whip produces a white potion. Okay. White whip plus black equals white plus. Okay. So we have some of this knowledge down. Now, Ash and Swish theoretically, therefore, should produce a orange potion. So, Ash and Swish plus now we're using black twire again, are we? Yes. Plus black equals theoretically this should be orange. Yes, orange plus. Okay, so we have some knowledge as to how each of these are created so far. So, theoretically, let's change what Ash and Swish is mixed in. So, Ashen Swish plus uh, Brown should probably also give Orange, if I'm thinking. It does. Good. Orange plus. These tink this potion making class is beginning to make sense. Are we all happy so far? Okay. So what, do I, what am I now low on? So I've got three... Uh, Oh, I've actually got five Medrol tinctures. I've got two Zurks tinctures and one Yaz tincture. Okay, so uh, theoretically, I want to make some more Yaz, really, don't I? So, blood and brown. Blood and brown, right. Okay. Um, what else do I want? Do I want more orange? Or uh, I'll make another white. Okay. And now I need another orange one. Brown and black. Shit. I don't have enough. Okay, but that that's useful. This is all really useful information to have. So now I now I know a little bit more about what's going on. And I can I can get some I can write. Okay. Uh, shoot, how's, how has that all increased so much? Okay. Uh, cool. Pemmican done. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put the tinctures all in here for now because holy fuck carrying them all will be a nightmare. Okay. I'm gonna keep the organ because I'm gonna trade it quite soon. I'm gonna put all the twire in here though because there's no point in me continually carrying it. I'm gonna put the schmouders in here. I want to keep them safe. Uh, I'm going to keep the morphine. I'm going to dump the bottles of twire. Um, right. Okay, I think we're actually doing okay for once. We are running low on water. Oh, my. Wow. Okay, we're actually doing not too bad. But we need to move quickly because we don't have as much time left as I thought we did. Uh... Говорят, что полезно. А на вкус отрава отравой. Hello? Anyone in there? Can you hear me? For a moment, you just stood there, feeling bad, maybe? The air's thick here in September. Breathe too deep and you'll pass out. I'm fine, you little familiar. Unhealthy. And I don't pass out. So how does it work now? 
So does it work now? Do you Of course it does. What about the big one? I'll fix that too. Would you like me to look for scrap metal? What do you need to fix it? Cogs and stuff? I'll need a special toolkit for it. Oh, you can find toolkits in shops, but rarely. But it's doable. But I don't think anyone's selling one now. But if I see one, I'll let you know. Uh, well, I haven't seen a single toolkit anywhere over the past few days. So if you find one, let me know. Right. We're probably running kind of dangerously low to keep playing. Uh, but... Ah, uh, what the hell. Let's buy the gun. We've got enough cash to buy the gun. Oh. Sein Beina, hello, Nulker. See, I brought your bolt. Cleaned it up too. We Katanke never swindle one another. No, I hope it does talk one day. So you say it will me a danger? It will, Nulker. You believe me, and for that you'll be rewarded. Mother Bodho and Suwak be my witnesses. Don't mention Suwak in vain, Nulker. It's not a name to say randomly. So, you got anything to say? Carabo so early. Got any surprises in store for me? How long do I need to wait? Shake your head at least. We're not about to talk just yet. So I should give you a name. I'll call you Nukar, partner. Just that you won't let me down, Kayala. Yeah, suits you. Yep. Done. Done deal. Okay. I need to try and find a place to sleep soon. Even if only just for a couple of hours. Across up and then to the theatre, I think. It's probably going to be the path that we have to take. I'll do my best. I'll do my very level best to uh, get us there in one piece. And um, not to fuck it up on the journey here. Eh? Yeah, exhaustion's critical. We're nearly, we're nearly there. We've not got actually that much extras to, extra to do. Haven't poured the blood though. Shoot. Some twire that I'm not gonna get. Still, I've done a lot today. Telling the correct time, 2025. Ah, oh, it is. White, yellow, red, blue, green. What are your kids doing? Train summoning. Is it working? Too few of us. Not enough power. Is it like tug of war? Why do you ask, Uncle Hunchback? You're so huge, like a giant. Can I help? Actually, you are really big. Maybe you can help. Do you know how to train summon? Depends on the train. Look, first you have to wish really, really hard for it to come. Can you do that? Definitely. Next, you've got to give it a name. That needs to be an adjective, so it'll be adjacent. Got it? Hmm. Inevitable. Last, find the dead end of the railroad, the southernmost one that goes into the steppe and curves a bit. Stand there and think real hard about how it needs to come. Call it by the name you have in your mind. Will you? Perhaps I'll try later. There. I have to go all the way down there. Hmm. I think we'll probably need to do that on our way back. Or we can do that. We can. We, we've got time. 
We don't have much time left today, but I don't think all of these quests run out today. Well, at least a little bit of time. And there she is, Clara once more. What's she doing? Being nefarious, as always. Can't trust her. You've interrupted a difficult conversation. I think you should leave. Perhaps I can help? I understand there are things you want to know. You think we might tell you if you ask right, but we won't. Not now. You're an interloper. You see, we're serious girls. Ouch. Ouch. Now. Who are you? One more word from you and everything will break. I told you to get lost. Are you stupid? No, I hear you loud and clear. Adding some more names to the list. У котенка мокрый нос, гладенькая шерсть. У него забавный хвост и быстрых лапок шесть. So why did you interrupt our argument? What argument? There used to be two mistresses, right? Nina and Victoria. One burned, the other soothed. Nina died, so Katarina replaced her. Then Victoria died, and Katarina was torn apart. Now there are no more mistresses. The town is unprotected. Do you follow? I do. Nina and Victoria are dead. Katharina is incapable, so their daughters are coming into power. There have always been two mistresses. Now there are three of us, and that's too many. Only one will remain. Do you get just how important that is? The lucky one will be you, of course. Perhaps. Maybe I should go back in and tell them of your good intentions. Listen carefully, Burak. Look at me. I will make it so that you can only talk to people when it doesn't interfere with my plans. This is your first warning. If you get in my way again, I'll take your speech away completely. Got it? Well, now I'll go back and talk to the girls just to spite you. I love meddling with the future. Oh, so you don't believe me? Be my guest. Go back and talk to the girls then. Or try to. You're a funny girl. Let's try and talk to them. And the words stick in my throat. Hi, brothers and sisters, this one is in cahoots with Notkin's crew. So tell me, old man, which side are you really on? Depends on who you were. We're the dogheads, and they're the soul on our halves. We're above, and they're below. We live in the tower, and they crawl in the earth. They're drawn to animals, and we reach for the stars. What's so hard to comprehend? See, got a little war on your hands, eh? Are you dumb? This isn't a game of cops and robbers, it's serious stuff. They're pulling the town one way, and we another. How does that even work? There are... That's our great conflict, old man. Soul and half see our tower as the root of all evils. We can't live without it. The tower makes people into super people. The soul and halves would rather become mindless pets. So if they want to be beasts, why are you the ones wearing the dog masks? For good reason. These masks remind us we're still beasts and the true humans inside us are yet to come out. They can't see well, are almost deaf, and speak only in gibberish. Lots of room left for growth. What's with the four on one? First off, it's five on one and a half. He does have half a soul more than ordinary folk. Second, we're not here to kick his ass. Another one's like keen on banishing us with clubs or worse. Us? We're a peaceful bunch. We fight only in self-defense. Why are you drive him up there like a cat up a tree? We're teaching him discipline. He should get used to heights. Don't mind if I go upstairs and talk to him too, do you? Go ahead. Who's stopping you? See for yourself. The higher you go, the better it gets. But I find the down below no less fascinating. <laughs> yeah, right. Have fun with all the stiffs and maggots around you. It's not all there is.
So what did they tell you? The kids play curious games these days. Our times were simpler. It used to be peaceful. Each gang only mingled with their own, but recently it escalated to outright war. To be honest, we struck first, but that's because they got under our skin. Keep on your way, big man. They're adults know our business with our wars. You sure you don't need my help? We'll manage our own. To be fair, it is beautiful up here. That's all right. We'll all be quiet when we gather at the station this evening. That's our no man's land. Good place. So you gather at the cargo station? Passenger one. We used to gather at the cargo. It was cooler. But now it's all boarded off. You'll end up with blo broken legs, and we've got girls and kids there too. So we now gather at the platform. I'll drop by if that's fine with you. Stop prying. Grown-ups are not welcome where we gather. You ruin everything. If you don't like me, I'll... Uh, I'll just peek with one eye. Always helps to find at least a little bit of loot. Now we need to get down safely. These strange structures, these staircases built to nowhere, these were replicas, prototypes. The first iterations of what would later become the polyhedron. Oh god, it's already 9pm. It's just not enough time of the day. Okay. See what you can get. Mm, not really. Not really worth it. Okay. Right, now we're upon Bridge Square. So, a few things that we do. We go to Var's place, we sell the organs. We... We need to find a place to sleep. Um... We sell the organ, we're only carrying one. It's easier to spot twire at night. So close. We're closing. Where's Ver? Don't know who you're talking about. He would. I'm Isidore Burak's son. Go to your right, then turn left, then go ahead, and don't take long. It's up to me, pal. Oof. Prices are a tad steep. Oh, Jesus. Ah, it's you. Did you come to talk about your father? Yes, did you know him? I did, but that's not what someone as clueless as you should addle that brain about. You left this town as a boy. You never really knew it, and even though scraps are lost and forgotten now. Educate yourself. Breathe in the twire soaked air. Get to know elders. Hurry not, Burak. Achieve respect, then you'll have your answers. Heard you loud and clear, old man. Var, is it? Yeah, yeah. Only I'm not an old man. I'm a man who has time for idle chatter and hates it when people clutter their room now for... For no reason. Come back when you have meat. Got it, you spider of a man. I'll, see, I'll be seeing you. Right. Right. Okay. Well, 200 coins. Not the end of the world, but not really as much as we wanted. Uh, exhaustion is really creeping up on us. I'm going to probably have to duck into Eva's house. Eva is a character that lives over here who we've not really met yet. I'm going to see if I actually can get into her house. It might not let me. Nope. 
Right, exhaustion's too critical. Um, shit. Okay, well we're here now, so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do this really quickly and we're gonna run. We're gonna run back to Vlad's and sleep. Vicada. Uh raisins. Kids really love the raisins. Uh yeah, that'll do. Um oh no, I could just use one of the boat tokens. Uh Fine. It's probably a trade I'll accept. I can use a boat token to go from here to here. Yeah, that'll work. Or I could just run. I might just run, actually. The polyhedron, the great structure that dominates this town. I'm sure we'll find out more about it as the day as time goes by. Now let me your ears and eyes. We trust you, so we'll let you in on the game. Mm, sounds important. Very much so. We've never followed an adult and I've never allowed an adult into the great game. It's forbidden, so you'll be the first. Well, rather the second. Believe me, we wouldn't invite you if not for that first one. What first one? The one, the one everyone's after, the person who's well the old man. The father uh, I mean y you know. What, are you kidding? Oh, that's impossible. All evidence points to this. They leave strange items in our game. Everyone's scared. We want to catch them in ourselves first, but Sleepy Head convinced us it was serious, that we need you, especially since it does concern you. What items? So let me explain. We've got these caches, all of them, all over town. That's where we leave messages and gifts for one another. It's a test of intuition. If you find one, you get to the next level. Also, test greed. Whoever takes items without giving anything in return gets kicked out. But that's not important. Not what you should be thinking about. What should I be thinking about then? The murderer left some items tonight from the old man. Bloody something in a scary note saying that we'll know we'll try and catch them. They were reading it. They see all. Shoot me in my boots. Where'd you find these items? There are two caches nearby. The dam and the bow spirit. Go and you'll see for yourself. Only, if you do take from a cache, leave something too. Respect the rules or it all goes south. I do respect rules. I uh, will follow them. The players already gather there in the stone yard next to the caches. I mean, they've already been to the middle town and the earth. Maybe they found something in there too. I believe three parties are already there. They might know more, but I don't know where they are. I've been standing here waiting for you to pass like an idiot. Alright, let's play. Children's stash is here somewhere. Uh, we... Okay. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that when we're less exhausted. <laughs> it creaks in the wind. I hate to break it to you, big fella, but we don't let just anyone in. What do you want, a password? Nah, no passwords. All I want is an answer to a simple question. No strings attached. Nice good boy. You older than 18? This is a joke, and well, we're almost 30. Just as I thought. Fuck off, big fella, we're 16 and under here. I'll try to cut you a little slack with what we your size, but this won't do. I'm looking for a kid that goes by the name of Khan. Khan? What do you want with him? Important business. We'd know if he wanted to see you. Know why you're all grown up? Because you forgot how to lie. There's not to it. I'm not getting in, am I? Those are the rules. Towers all ours. No adults allowed. So the tower is just chock full of kids. We got some space left. There's only 700 of us. Holy shit! Are you sure it won't fall? You're asking too many questions. So all these games. Talk Khan. I said hi. Khan barely leaves the new building across the river. I cannot currently reach him. Children's stash. In two places. Uh, it's possible that I might be able to get in here. Might not be able to. Uh, Gorgi Kane might might take some pity on me. He's got nothing to say to me. Fine, but we do have a save point. Okay. If I go there, then I can just head back to my hideout. Cool, let's do that. Or I 
could just go to Lara's, which could be just as good. Close to the theatre. Do that. And I can pour the blood on the ground, get the wire, go to sleep. So let's be sure of what we're doing here. Pour the blood upon the earth. And so hopefully. Three more sprigs of twire. Better than nothing. Alright, it's probably time I try and get some rest. Hopefully Lara's gonna be able to at least take care of me as I try and sleep. Okay. Oh, uh, shoot, I need to eat. dream. Notkin, Grace, Sticky, Murky, Capella. This must be the Khan. This must be Taya Taichik. Don't be afraid. We're all on the same side for now, aren't we? What's there to be afraid of? We're all grateful to you. We know protecting us isn't easy, but you still do it. You make sure we live. There are seven of you, but there was an eighth on the list. Where is he? Here, for now, he's the Adurk. Can't see him. You think you can't see the eighth because you're looking the wrong way, but he's here. It's fortunate he's still on this side. This door leads nowhere, it's just more of the same behind it. I think your father is behind the door, but maybe the eighth is transitioning already. Have you discovered who he is? We're curious too. What's behind the door? We don't know, and neither will you. We can't enter yet, nor do we want to. No one does. Why is the eighth nameless? Because he's the Adurg. If he lives, so do we. If he begins to die, so it will be. What's an Adurg? And two more join the show. <laughs> New pantomime once more is being rehearsed at the theatre. Thirteen more people are dead. Seven are missing. С каждым днем время летит все быстрее. День заканчивается и наступает ночь. Она тоже пройдет незаметно. И что-то будет упущено, безвозвратно. Apart from the seven kids, there was an eighth on the list and a dog. Well, well, what was it? I suspect that at some point I am going to need to find out. Right. I've perhaps got enough time to uh, do a few more things today before the day ends. We'll go to the theatre. We'll try and go down this route here. Go to the theatre. Uh, actually, no, we'll go to the theatre. We'll go to Sava's place. And then we'll see if we can make it from there down to here, down to back. I think that's probably the best route that we can take. Um, Oh, 
Все, все. Арлды. Okay, down to the theater. Twire is still worth something. Even if we're not getting a lot else, at least the twire is something. Unfortunately, due to the way the saving system works in this game, it does make it slightly more uh, awkward to save the game. And just load it and end the episode at the end of the pantomime, so... I am going to be doing slightly more in the day than I would have otherwise been doing, so the episodes don't quite uh, divide as neatly as they may otherwise have done. Oh, shit. чудеса. Я руки вот так на человека накладываю, и у него ну, там мрак какой-нибудь, опухоль в крови. Я не разбираюсь. Просто меня Господь любит. Три года назад мы нашли средства от тифа. Четыре года назад от южной холеры. Год назад от быстрого штамма ОСП. Наука умеет все. Местная медицина. Местная медицина умеет многое. Хотя после учебы я был решил, что все это дичь и варварство. Но порой она и прям помогала. Но похвастались друг перед другом. Как дети малые. Право слово. Кончайте свой нелепый консилиум, бесклапы. Никакая медицина вам тут не поможет. So our three healers stand upon the stage. Barach, Dankovsky, and Clara. Overseen by executors. Our play begins from here. Ah, oh, the dead item shop is open. Well, am I carrying anything? I don't think I am, actually. It's really annoying. I might change location each time, too. I should start storing some junk. So I can just use it when the dad item shop becomes available. Well, let's find out. Pocket watch, pocket watch. Fish. Fish will do. 16. A lot to trade for, for a fish. Three... Six... Hmm... 
Is it worth it? Yes, because I'm actually low on food. Yep. That was worth it. Okay. I have a lot of stuff, huh? Just have to keep going. That's all. in the revolver. Otherwise the fight was for nothing, but fuck it, he's got away. It doesn't really matter that much. <sighs> Shit. I'm just being worthless though. Got him. Jesus. Okay. Better than nothing. Okay. Down and across. Sab his place. Oh, shoot, my exhaustion's already come back up. We go to Sabah's place, we come back and we sleep, and then we deal with the station and the children's stashes. That sound fair? That sound like a good idea to everyone? I hope so, because I have no idea what I'm doing. your kind, Kathangar. Do you know what an adurg is? What the Kandro sigil stand for? A body that contains the world. Everyone knows that. But what does that 
me, be a care. It can be a creature made of many creatures, like a family, a taglur, a group of people bound by the same fate. You haven't made it more clear. Our words are erased, Katanga. We turn our father's flutes into sticks. We take old words, big words, and apply them to small things. But the connection to the source is still there. The lines remember. Kayadi. Let Mother Bodo caress your step. And all she take. I mean, I guess that'll do. Can always use a little bit of food. Getting there. Saba will teach us. She knows the way. She speaks to Earth. Mother Bato us, talks to us through her. What will she teach you? She knows our traditions. We have long been oppressed. Now we face extinction. We forget our language, our crafts, the arts. The art of talking to Earth, the language of herbs, the craft of lines. She advises as well. What advising do you need? Not a simple one. Wasn't an offer, by the way. I'm a bad advisor. I want to ask Zabha. Will our brothers and sisters be allowed to marry? The kin are... Well, kin. We're all children of Botho, and there's so few of us left. Bad idea. Such marriages lead to degradation. But that doesn't matter. When the kin swallow the town, there'll be neither wives nor children. And you'll be the kin's last generation. I would ask Mother about self-sacrifice. She said we must sacrifice everything for our fellow kin as we prepared to flood the town. I gave everything I had, even my own entrails. Now I am dying. Did I make the correct decision? What for? I will tell it to Sabha. It is a long story, and I should save my strength. You did good. I have a question for our mother. There is little time left before it all ends. When it happens, would I be allowed to spare the lives of those who trusted me and called themselves friends? Would I be allowed not to kill them? When what happens? When the kin flood the town. When the step consumes the streets and houses. What shall I do to people then? You all nuts. Just leave people alone. Good day, Karan. You're back. What say you? Who are you? Have you forgotten our faces already? We asked you for help. You wanted to let, be let into the warehouse. Right, I couldn't persuade Big Blood. Here's your money. Well, worked out okay. She drinks a lot of milk. She who? Reflection, your master? No one knows how she became herself. Suspicion and fear surround a tale of one who left the step. She's said to be inhuman, a doll of clay and bone. Shabna Kadik. Yeah, right. My master waits for her assigned time. Five years ago, during the first outbreak, the Earth cast her with a secret task. It must have been fulfilled back then. You seeing that? The first outbreak was curbed by your father, however. With a vicious force, he changed the flow of history. And Saba Uspte, Saba Otun, the one called Aspiti by common folk, stayed behind within this world. A groomless bride, a blemish, lost, estranged from her true goals, believes she owes her life to Isidore, who made her, who foresaw her. What do you mean, made her? What nonsense is this? She feigns humanity quite well and holds respect and power in the kin. She rules over this hiding place where stepfolk can find escape from being yoked within Nolgimsky's cruel mill. Here they can hide and heal, and run their midnight market. Are there many such step people? Enough. Enough to flood the town. Then there will be blood. Your father, whom she worships without understanding, meant the kin to merge into the town to make a body whole. But we cannot, and will not. So she decided to adjust the town to the needs of the kin. She broke his work for brides and odong, setting them up as dancers or couriers. One wonders. Why? She doesn't know what she's doing. Indeed. She's not human, after all. But love does drive her like it drives you. Love is blind and foolish. 
Not human. All right. Try to accept that. Кто бы из Лива просит, тот учит отказывать. Earth War Mirrors, Hamshin. Who are all these people, Sabo? And what do they want? They respect me, you see. I know not the lines, but I sense Earth. I speak to them on her behalf. They believe I am made of soil, like Shabnakadik, though they don't call me that. They ask strange questions, Sabo. Why do they come to you? I teach the truth of the kin to these people. I retell our old legends. I remind them of Bodho's will, of how the world is a body. I hear the earth and speak to her will for them. I make sure they know where they came from and where they are going. A sick people, a weak people needs this. Our future hangs by a threat. What? Why were they asking me then, and not you? I knew that would happen. You have done well following the lines. You think so? Answers were not the same as you would have given them. They believe they have come here for advice. False. They have long since made up their minds. Now only their weakness sows doubt in them. We take on the burden of that doubt. Whatever we tell them, they'll do what they think is right. Is that your idea of help? They're helping us, not the other way around. The question matters, not the answer. But to the listener, not the speaker. They carry their own stories. You carry yours. Such is the truth of the lines, Tankar. The truth of the earth. I'll uh, give this some thought. I go to sleep. I am still exhausted, and it is two in the morning. Well, and so we'll wrap this episode up. We'll see you next time.